This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 8.4. This time we're going to look at combinations. And this is different than permutations because the order does not matter. So you have to look at the problem and think to yourself, does order matter? The notation here is n choose r. And the formula is n factorial over n minus r factorial. This is the same as permutations. And then we divide by r factorial. So there's n items, and we're choosing to combine r of them. And you can think of this as having identical objects in an arrangement. So here's an example problem. Wendy's has eight items on their value menu. How many ways are there to order three items? So ask yourself, does it matter if we order a Frosty, Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, and fries? versus ordering fries, a junior bacon cheeseburger, and a Frosty? And your answer should obviously be no. And this is a combination problem, not a permutation problem. And since the order doesn't matter for the three items, we can arrange the three items in three factorial different ways. So we just need to divide by three factorial. Okay, just plug it in, eight, choose three. And please use subscripts for the numbers here. This is eight factorial over eight minus three factorial times three factorial. And that's 56 ways. And you should be thinking to yourself, is there an easier way? Yes, there is an easier way on your calculator. Press the math button, cursor to probability, and you're picking item number three. So press eight first, then go to this function, and choose R, and enter three, and then press enter. And you get the same answer, 56. However, this is really easy to do without a calculator. We have eight times seven times six, because we're dividing by five factorial, the five factorial. This is five factorial trailing here and five factorial on the bottom, so that cancels out. And we're dividing by three times two times one. Well, this is six, that cancels out, so we have eight times seven, and that's 56. Here's another problem. 10 students are running for student council, six will get elected. How many ways can the council be formed? Again, order does not matter for six elected people. It doesn't matter if it's Bill and Ted or Ted and Bill. So we enter 10, choose six. That's 10 factorial over 10 minus six factorial times six factorial. And that's 210 ways. So without a calculator, this would be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, because we're canceling out 6 factorial. And then we have 4 factorial, so that's 4 times 3 times 2. We can cancel out this and this. And we can cancel out 1, 3 with a 9. So we have 3 times 7 which is 21 times 10, that's 210. So you must be able to determine whether to use permutations or combinations because you're not always explicitly told. So there's an interesting thing with combinations. There's symmetry. So seven choose four is the same as seven choose three. 6 choose 2 is the same as 6 choose 4. And 9 choose 3 is the same as 9 choose 6. So what do we have? We have n choose r. So left-hand side, we're going to prove this, equals n choose r. Okay, so this is n factorial over 
n minus r factorial times r factorial. Now we're just going to rearrange the bottom, n factorial over r factorial over n minus r factorial. Here's the slightly tricky part. We have n minus n minus r factorial, and we have n minus r factorial. So you need to see here that our new r is n minus n minus r. So n minus n is zero. We have a minus minus r and that's r. Now this equals n choose n minus r. Remember our first one is r, so we're replacing that with n minus r. The second one is just r, and we're replacing that with n minus r. So this equals the right-hand side, and we put QED. Now, given lotto 649 has odds of 49 choose 6, is roughly 14 million to one chance of winning the jackpot. What are the odds of winning Lotto 4349 jackpot, where you need to pick 43 numbers? And your answer is 13 million 983 thousand 816 to one. It's the same. Because 49 minus 6 is 43, and we just proved that. Now, if you're looking at multiple combinations, this is slightly harder. We use the fundamental counting principle and multiply the answers together. So an ice cream store has 10 flavors of ice cream and 21 mix-in flavors. How many flavors can you get if you're allowed two ice cream choices and two mix-in choices? Okay, so we have 10 ice cream flavors. We're allowed to pick two. And now we're multiplying using the fundamental counting principle. We have 21 mix-ins, and we can choose two. And using our calculators, we would get 9450 flavors. And that's a lot of flavors. Let's look at a backwards problem, where we need to find N or R. So, n choose 2 is equal to 36. Again, just plug in what you know and work your way through the problem. Okay, so we're going to cancel out n minus 2 factorial. So we're really left with n times n minus 1. And this is equal to 72. The 2 factorial comes up here. So what we're really looking at are two consecutive numbers. Numbers uh, that multiply to 72. Okay, you can do n squared minus n minus 72 equals zero. You can factor that. Or you can always just reason it out. You can try five times six, that's 30, that's too low. Six times seven, 42, that's too low. Seven times eight, 56, that's too low. Eight times nine. So n equals nine. So do whatever way feels comfortable. If this is a larger number, you probably don't want to try to reason it out. You might want to just solve with your calculator. There's always the way to figure it out. You can plug this as y1, this is y2, or you can move this over, have this as y1, and look for zeros. Here you would look for the intersect points. Okay, this time we have 10 choose r equals 120. 
This one's a little bit difficult because we can't put it into this form. So we just simply go 10, choose 1. That's 10 factorial over 9 factorial times 1 factorial. And that's 10. 10 choose 2. That's 10 factorial over 8 factorial times 2 factorial. And that's 10 times 9. That's 90 over 2. That's 45. Again, that's not the answer that we're looking for. 10 choose 3. Again, if you don't want to do this by hand, use your calculator. This does not take long by hand. So we have 10 times 9 times 8. Divided by 3 times 2. Cancel out 4. Cancel out 3. And that's 120. 3 times 4 is 12 times 10. So basically, you need to rely on brute force, or you could call it trial and error. You should note that there's also another valid solution. And that would be 10, choose 7. So, when do you use combinations? Again, you need to think about the situations that apply. Does the arrangement matter? If it doesn't matter, then it's likely a combination problem. And that completes this lesson.